Okay, as we discussed uh, yesterday, we started with the traceability matrix and we studied the template or format of the uh, uh, test cases that how we will write the test case on the Excel format. Uh, today, we will start with the software named Jira. What is Jira? What is the use case of Jira? Why we use Jira in our day-to-day -day life? Jira is only specific for software development or no? Uh, other departments also can use it like uh, HR department, uh, like engine, civil engineering department. These stuffs we will be discussing. Mm, now we are a software engineer in test or a QA tester. So we will consider Jira as an aspect, as a view of an uh, software, not as a view of HR, not as a view of um, I mean to say civil engineers who will see it that how we can use it in a, a software tech companies. So before that, we can say that Jira is only implementing agile methodology in software development. Uh, for fun, for yeah. fun we, we did provide them with, uh, with the link to download the Jira and as well as I shared a couple of videos. Let's hear from our participants that what did they uh, um, get from, from those two short videos that I shared with uh, on uh, Jira as well, and as well as the, the installation and account setting stuff. So we'll hear it. Uh, if anyone can, can provide us with a brief on what Jira really is, what's your understanding of Jira? Yeah, definitely, that will be a great option. We will, and that time we will understand that uh, they at least know what is Jira. So uh, I will pick someone randomly so he can unmute himself or he can talk. Like uh, Ms. we will start with Ahmad Samadi. Mr. Ahmad Samadi, can you unmute yourself and tell us about Jira? Yeah, honestly, I haven't installed it yet. Um, I'm actually about to install it right now and check. I'm just being honest, you know, I'm not going to say anything about it. Uh, I, I haven't checked it, but I'm sure it's like a, a software that manages uh, manages our projects. Yeah. Uh, just like uh, we get reminders, we get assignments in it. It should be something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I think, uh, can I speak? Mr. Yeah, sure. Kla sure, sure. Uh, yeah, Jira, uh, uh, I can say hi to everybody first. <laughs> Jira is a backtracker tools uh, so when the tester is working on the software and then uh, during the uh, project finding the mm, mm -hmm. bad or uh, defect so jira is a software or tools that we take it mm -hmm. i mean software will put the ticket on jira so yeah. Jira is a tracker how to process the bag or uh, defect. Yeah. Totally fine. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, anyone else? Good evening, everyone. Yeah, good evening. Uh, I want to add something about the Jira. So uh, as I know, generally, uh, yeah. Jira is a, a backtracking or a problem tracking tool mm -hmm. that allows uh, software developers to, to plan, to track, uh, to move faster developing, I mean, before developing the software. So it helps the software developer to, uh, to track those problems, I mean, or those bugs inside the software. I think I, I have general information about the Jira. So I didn't install it yet, but I'm just waiting for a further lessons and then I go forward in that. Okay, that's totally fine. Uh, I appreciate your ideas and uh, I appreciate your hard work that you learn about Jira's. So that was totally fine. Uh, you guys explained it as a point of uh, software uh, testing and software uh, development. So that's okay. Uh, so now uh, let's jump in. Before that, we have to cover up or we have to brush some concepts of uh, Scrum Master. You know, we did study uh, Scrum Master Agile uh, methodology. 
um, few days ago. And right now we have to brush up some concept because right now we will be implementing that, those concepts in Jira itself. So for that, let me share my screen. I will take a pen. Okay, that's good. In G First of all, Jira is a powerful planning, tracking, or we can say project management software that can make our life, or we can say that it makes engineer lives easy to follow up their day-to-day -day tasks with the teams. Like, and here we can say it is a product, it's a tool that made easy the life of a scrum master. He can follow up with the team, he can follow up with the product owner, he can do anything. Like suppose whole management they will do inside Jira itself. Now for that, for Jira, Scrum masters always implementing agile methodology. That will be a Scrum part. We did study that agile has three section, uh, Scrum, Kanban, XP, extreme programming. So along, apart from that, we will be studying Scrum. We will be implementing the Scrum part itself in here. In Scrum, we totally said that, uh, okay, what will be the, uh, uh, what will be the flow of the agile methodology that how we gonna follow up with that okay if we take a project so basically programmer will focus on the functionality of that that one kind of functionality we have to add in this project next next was next step was for that planning planning stage that how they're gonna plan for that. Next stage was implementation stage. Next step was test step, testing step. And last was review. This is an overall general ideology regarding agile implementation that if you follow agile implementation, like uh, you follow Kanban, you follow extreme programming, or you follow Scrum, this pictorial diagram will uh, give you that in that site. Okay, functionality, they're gonna provide. So on the top of that functionality, which is verbally narrated by the uh, cl client or by the business owner, uh, the team will sit and make a test plan for that. Okay, if the, when the test plan is made after that, they, they sit and implement it. Whenever they made a test plan, they develop it. So they will, after that, they will do it. They will implement that. Implements mean they will check it. After implementation, they will uh, resubmit it, give it back to who? Give it back to the testers. They will test it. Okay, after that, they will do what? They will do reviews. These were parts which was belongs to QA team. Like I make it in a big picture, development teams also follow this concept testing teams also follow this concept now if we consider if you remember in agile scrum methodology we had epics we had story we had backlogs uh we had sprints we had in releases we had product increments these concepts were there in scrum also we had product owner we had a scrum master uh we had a, a scrum team itself. These were the concepts which I introduced already with you people, if you remember. Now, inside here, before we jumping to the Jira, let's uh, clear those concepts. What is Apex? What is product owner? Who's product owner? Who's scrum master? Who's development team? We will be covering those. Product owner is the person that we can say he is dealing with client for the first time when client gives order of the software that, hey, I want this kind of software. So for that, product owner is responsible to get what? To get the requirement from who? From the client itself. He's and He understands the requirement of the customer. He really, he is responsible for release management. He, he balanced the need of the stakeholder, actually. These responsibility was on the shoulder of who? On the shoulder of the product owner. 
next role we had scrum master that was he's responsible for gluing everything together um, he helps in planning and breaking down works he managed roadblocks if any roadblocks have occurred or come in front of the development team so he's responsible to clear the path to clear the way for them next we had scrum team scrum team made of uh, development teams and qa testers like suppose we can say that uh, uh, scrum team always follow on seven uh, comprises of a uh, seven people like one product owner scrum master and five development team inside development team in qa team we had three dev programmer and two tester you know scrum believes in that concept and scrum team as well communicate with and uh, with the scrum master and also they sit a meeting and they plan a meeting with the product owner as well these concepts were introduced inside what inside scrum itself now next let's create a scenario in here let me take a new pen let's create a scenario we have role of for Khan, if you give me just uh, for, uh, one minute and 40 seconds. I want to I want to uh, share a very brief one minute, 40 seconds video with our participants. So they know a little bit about uh, Jira in a, in a short video. Yeah, definitely. Before we yeah. Have sure, I'll yeah. let you and share your screen. Yeah, share your screen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah. See you in the future. Can you guys see my screen now? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. So, uh, Give me one second so I'll be able to share my um, the voice as well. Okay, audio is not disconnected. So raise your hand if you guys can um, see, if you guys can hear. So just no. Yes, Talash, we can hear your voice. Just play the video. The world is changing fast, and in order to keep racing towards the future, you'll need all of your IT teams working together as efficiently as Can possible. You guys also hear the That's why we're the introducing video? Jira Service Management, the first end-to-end -end ITSM solution built entirely on the Jira platform. It helps visualize and accelerate the flow of work between support, developers, and operations teams, and empowers everyone to deliver their work with agility. Jira Service Management helps you quickly set up agent queues and fulfill service requests with ease. But it's not just a service desk, it's so much more. With out-of-the-box alert, on-call and major incident management, plus workflows that support change and configuration management, Jira Service Management can do it all. It enables your teams to become more adaptable to the challenges they face, meaning practices and workflows stay flexible and better positioned for future challenges. Our open, collaborative platform enables teams to scale operations quickly and ensure that your critical services are always on and high performing. And that's because Jira Service Management is built on the same intuitive platform as Jira Software, meaning the tools used across DevOps teams become standardised and unnecessary barriers are eliminated. To win the race towards the future, it takes IT teams coming together and working flawlessly. Enable your IT team's velocity with help from Jira Service Management. See you in the future. Uh, yeah, uh, for fun, back to you. Yeah, thank you so much, Talash. Now you can mute yourself. So I will take the lead from here. It was a good uh, informative video, guys. 
that you see that uh, Jira do words and I'm sure that most of you all already watched the videos which Tala share on the group. So on the basis of that, I will explain a little bit more. So let's back to our slide. Let me share my screen. Okay, we will consider our scenario. Do you have any questions? Okay, and we don't have any questions in chat box. Okay, inside this, we have one role that is product owner. I will name it PO, product owner. Okay, next we have Scrum Master. And other team is the third section is Scrum team itself. Scrum team consists of how many people? Five people, programmer and QA testers. So what are they gonna do? First of all, Whenever a client approaches the company, he will meet directly with who? He will meet directly with the product owner. He is the person who follow up, who meet with the customer client for the first time. The client will ask that, hey, I want, I want, suppose I want a social media or I want a bank software bank web app that can serve uh, approximately 1 million people. So how are you going to make this for us? Client will give this information only to product owner. No, it is the duty of the product owner to manipulate his word, his explanation, and ask him questionary part questions like, uh, okay, you want a bank or web application, so uh, do you want login? Do you want registration? Okay. Do you want login? Do you want registration? Uh, after that, uh, you want a low balance checking. Uh, can we assign at money transferring money order? These functionality will be discussed by the product owner with who with the client. And these functionality, which I mentioned right here, is called Apex. At overall general, we can say that these are also a user story or at the end, if we see the big picture, it is called epics as well. Epics. Now these epics, inside these epics, we can add a login, registration, balance checking, money transferring, account to account, and ETC, other main functionalities. After that, they're gonna do what? It is this duty of the Scrum team, Scrum master, that he should check this Apex. Think that this Apex is a document. This document will be submitted to Scrum master. Let me draw the flow in a very good mood. Okay, after that, the duty of the Scrum Master is that first of all, he should train or explain it in a better way. Means he should prepare, it is duty that plan with the development team and made an FRD for that. Okay, and here they will do what he will do First of all, give information, give info related the project, teach or train, teach the team that on which workflow we gonna start. Um, means he will implement the agile practices or scrum. We can say he will implement the agile practice uh, in ETC, task which is related to Scrum Master or Agile, 
duty now after that after that what they gonna do the duty will not stop right there it will one another step is remaining that he will now break down every thing into tasks the duty of the scrum master that whenever he get grab the epic or grab the user story he will break it down into a small small what user stories or a small sprints we can say okay inside that he will do it he will break down the epics for who for the development team for dev team this is the duty of who duty of the scrum master after that after that these tasks were assigned by scrum master to the scrum team now after the this this section will start from here whenever let me take my mouse okay. now it will flow from here to where to the scrum team means this document will be submitted that frd functional requirement document will be submitted to scrum team now the duty of scrum team is that each and every task each and every task is assigned to them one by one like suppose first of all they want to add the three functionalities these three functionalities might be we can start from registering into a web application login section and after that's of course landing page these three functionality should worked or should pick first and start working on that in one sprint who wrote the story we have question the story will be written down by product owner product owner is responsible for writing the story or epics we can say at overall if you go back to slides and videos which i explained the uh, scrum team and the position of the product owner the duty of the scrum master and the task which is assigned to scrum team you will get to know you will get the methodology of agile i explain everything right there now i am taking just uh, overview small overview that uh, what kind of uh, uh, terminology we have that we will be implementing inside atlassian software <clears throat> now after that you're clear till this point no question so we will move ahead so next section we have what we have jira software we will be explaining jira so let's okay sonia azimi can you please explain it again about apex okay sonia apex is nothing but those function requirement which is narrated by the who by the client to product owner and product owner written down in some sort of documents which is provided by the company we can name that document br the functional uh, business requirement document and uh, they will written down in a text format and after that they will divide it in a uh, section wise so after they grab it in section so that document will be resubmitted to scrum master and rest and they will make the frd functional requirement documents from that hope your question is clear till this point <clears throat> okay now let's go to where let's now discuss jira jira is a project management tool and an issue tracker developed by atlassian atlassian is a big corporation that provides uh, not jira money softwares that uh, uh, i don't know right now which product they have i only understand that they launching the jira software and then itself jira is itself a big uh, software that uh, made the life of engineer very good and made the life of engineer easy so the main tasks 
which developers do on Jira what they do backtracking, they do agile project management on Jira. Or we can say in another way, it is a one solution for multiple software and team related to use. In Jira, we can do create backlogs, we can create sprints, we can uh, we can create tasks, we can update solution board, uh, we can do managing our tasks, we can do code integration even. These things will be only done in the Jira itself. Now, now let's let's jump into the Jira software. So for G for that, if we install in our computer, it needs a lot of specification hardware requirements. So my computer is not that much strong, so it takes lots of time. So I will- uh, for, Sorry for the interruption. Can I have uh, this iPhone user to speak up and provide us with a little bit of information uh, with regard to the Jira? Yeah, sure, definitely, why not? iPhone user, can you unmute yourself, please? No, uh, take him out of class, uh, Furkan. Okay, sure. Yeah, thank you. Now proceed for yeah, sure. Okay, let me just share my screen again. <clears throat> okay, now let's jump in to Jira web application that uh, instead rather than installing in your computer, you can use it as well as through online, through your browser as well. So this Jira software, uh, suppose you download it in your computer, it needs a lot of hardware specification, it needs um, a, a strong computer at the end. So I don't have la that strong computer, so it takes a lot of time, it's an installation, I have to configure the server. These, uh, these parts, you know, not belongs to us. You just learn how to use Jira. The rest installation part, everything will be done inside the company for you by the DevOps team. So you don't need to worry about the installation, these things, you just learn how to use Jira. So for that, I come to Google and search for Jira Atlassian account. So they provide me an interface with the login. So I don't have an account. So I will definitely first register myself with the Jira software. So for that, I will do what I will provide an email or rather than I will do, let me do, I'll go soft. Go soft. State or at the rate gmail.com. Okay, he's a Jira software is active with email. So I will click on agree button. Okay, now they're asking for my email verification that they sent me a link. So I have to uh, verify myself with them. So I will do what I will open my AlgoSoft email. With regards to that, I will drive. Let me open the email. Sorry for that. Now, here you can see that I have Atlassian software, email verification. So I will click on verify email option. 
Now in here, they will ask my name that enter your full name. So I will write it down. I'll go soft. So, and I will provide a password. Mm, I can say anything. So I provide a strong password and I will click on sign up. But now they will give me an assessment that register, select all image with card. So I will select, okay, I will select this one, this, and we'll do verify. Okay, please select an image with cars. Okay. Okay. Why it's not selecting? And you have to verify how they are going. Yeah, bicycles. Mm, bus. Here it is. We logged into. I will do save. Now they provide us a login section after we did registration. So they provide us a login section. So for the login section, we will do what? We will. We will put our login in here. So your site, we will name it AlgoSoft. I can you to unmute yourself, please. Just guys, wait a second. Okay, I will put the name AlgoSoft1. So it, they verified the name. So AlgoSoft1 and I click on Agree button. <clears throat> now after clicking on Agree button, they will give us an interface that okay first of all they will ask us about tell us a bit about yourself you can skip this section or you can select that i am doing what i am doing software development so these questions will be a lot you can skip this section as well so i will skip it okay i will do what i'll skip this part also so now in here if you see i there are some terms and condition with Jira. So I'll click on agree and continue or rather than I can skip this as well. So I will do it. I will skip this. They will provide me with some interface like a dashboard so that I can add a task, I can add epics, and I can follow up with my daily day to day tasks. So it takes a little bit of time. It's loading right now.
it's it looks a little bit just wait for a second tell that we will stop recording yeah someone anyone can share their screen so i will take the control uh, yes. yeah i'm trying to share Great for me it works. Yeah, for you it works using browser. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I see a uh, command scroll. Okay, wait, uh, wait, a business. Second. wait a second. Till this point, let me take uh, control of your screen. I will send you a yeah. request. Just approve the request. Great, and I have Nuri. Now you stop working, I will work on your screen. So, oh. yeah. That's good. Okay. All of you can see that. And I have Nuri screen. Uh, after uh, logging uh, to into the account, you will redirect it to that section. Whenever I put uh, algosoft1.atlation.net, uh, after that, uh, right, you will direct you will direct the Jira software will direct you to that that page. That page you have to select the format whether you are using collaborative business whether using your Kanban or whether using, I will select Scrum, the middle one. So I will click on this. I select this and I will click on next right here. So they will ask me for project creation. So I will name the project like, uh, suppose I am doing testing, test underscore demo. Test demo. I will click on create project. Button. So they will tell me select some tools now and we will help you to connect later. So I will skip this. I don't need it right now. I can manage it through my Jira software setting as well, these things. So if you can see the screen, here we reach to backlog section directly in a backlog section here is your main dashboard you have board section you have backlog section you have code section as well we have roadmap you know these sorts of stuff we hear right so in here First of all, the first thing that you have to do is create an epic. Can you see right here? I will click on epic. You can see epic is right here. So I'll create, click on epic button. So your epic name. Uh, excuse me. Uh, picture profile. Yeah, please. Yeah, mine does not have epic and also does not have a backlog okay. on the yes, left we will side do one thing. listen we will do one thing just listen first carefully to the lecture at the end we will solve your issues okay anyone who have issue will take five minutes or ten minutes extra okay yeah sure just right here when you click on epic name your epic uh, because i am controlling someone else's screen Okay, I will click on Epic. Okay. Why I cannot write, then it will come. Pick panel. Great. Now let me close this section. Now right here, I can click on Epic button create epic i will write down the epic name suppose the epic name will be test underscore zero one when i click on that 
let me scroll it down a little bit. Okay, quick start, let me close this section. Let's create another epic once more. Okay, epic one and press enter. Your epic is created already. So the epic name is test one. Now inside epic, you have to do what? Inside epic, most of the time software engineers or team leaders will do what? They will click on epic. Inside that, you can create your issues. You can add your issues. Uh, you can add tasks. You can do anything. For that, I will do what? I will click on this. Now we have no stories, no issue, nothing. If you see right here, I have a create issue button or link. I will click on that. When I click on that, they will ask me, if I click on this drop down list, they will ask me whether it's a bug or a story. I will click on story. When I click on story, I will name the story light. Uh, like we can say story is log n function. I will press enter. So they will do what? This login function will start. It will directly connect with this epic test one and it will start the sprint for me directly when I press the enter. You can see right here that start sprint button is showing to me. Now after that, I will click on start sprint button. If you want to change this TD sprint one name, you can also change the sprint name as well. If you click on these three dot button, click on this edit sprint. So from here, you can change the name of the sprint. From here, you can select the duration. We, we say that Scrum follows one to four week session. So in this, I will select that this will take four week of me or four week of time that we have to develop. Or we can say login is a small functionality. We will give one week for that. So I will press on update. Okay, it will take one week. After that, I will click on Sprint button. Whenever I click on Sprint button, they will ask me again, start the Sprint. So whether it's okay, yeah, two weeks is enough. No, I will not give it two weeks. I will give it one week. Okay, from this date, it will start and it will. Uh, the time is 9.28 p.m. will end this like uh, the time for this is starting 9 29 pm uh, so i will click on the start you can set the goal as well we are developing login function I will click on start button. Whenever I click on start button, it will redirect me to the board, the board which I need to start the work. If you can see to do what you have to do, this this is your story. This is your, uh, I mean, you can add a task in here, right? This is your story login function. This is your in progress board. This is your done board. So inside that, first of all, I have to click on this link. When you see test underscore zero one, if I click on this, it will open one new page for me. When I click on that, so in this section, I can do assign this to someone. I can assign to me, I can, or I can assign to someone else. I will click on that and I will cl click on Inayat Nuri. Suppose Inayat Nuri is someone else, I invite him in the uh, Jira software through email, so I will add his name right there so that I will add this login functionality, your login story to Inayat Nuri. After that, I can add, I can add a task in here. So the task is that login
function must follow great great security service you can say anything and i will click on create so the task is created that I, with, alongside with this user story, the task is that uh, Anayat Nuri is a developer. He know that how to create a login function, but inside login function, which kind of services you want to add? Suppose I want to add a login security services, means uh, my login should be very secure and the attacker can should not hack the login section because it's the entry gate for the system. So I'm done till this point. So I'll click on this cross button. So I add what? I add my tasks right here. So let's refresh this one. Let's see what's coming on the board. Okay. After that, when I, I will click on this again and I will see Okay, I add the task. Okay, the task is already added to an Ayat Nuri to do what to he to do. The task is in progress, I will select. And I will click on save. So in my understanding that this lead will uh, is gonna do is gonna create this task and then add some a b c d for example some uh, like two three uh, tester and then they will as uh, he will assign three yeah. four uh, tester to work on this group right definitely you are right because it's the duty of the test lead or someone who is leading the team to create these epics and these uh, tasks to the juniors. So it's, it's kind of share folder. Yeah, it's, we can say like this. Be, uh, before yeah. Jira software, people were using these sorts of things, these patterns that they create one folder and they add their tasks right there. But with the help of Jira, now everything is quite easy for us. So till this point, uh, do we have any questions? If we have, let's see it. Just Inayat Nuri, can you take back your control? Sure. Okay, I'll give. Now you can stop your sharing. I had a question, sir. Yeah, sure, please. Let me check. So, as well. yeah, tell me your question. Um, I already write it down there in the chat box, but I can, uh, so these things that are doing, it's like, uh, we have, it's not our job to like assign a stuff for ourselves or it is uh, a scrum master's job or whose yeah, job is that? It is the duty of the scrum master. First of all, it is the duty of the product owner to create the epic for you to create the user story for you. After that, from that section, it is the duty of the Scrum Master to give the task on the basis of that Apex, to give the user story or to give the sprints for you. After that, whenever at that section, when I, which I, when I invite Enayat Nuri, at that section, when I invite Enayat Nuri, after that Enayat Nuri can see their task that, okay, at this epic login epic uh, or at uh, this user story, I need to add these kinds of functionality. You know, they will follow up like this. Okay, we have a practitioner session for that. Today, I only show you that how we can use Jira. Now, on uh, next week, we will implement, like suppose I will invite one to three, four of you. I will assign two of you as a programmer per position. I will assign the position of QA tester to, uh, to others. 
so will i will add one product owner and i will be the scrum master so we will be doing the task and we will be sharing and i will show you the whole process that how we work with the jira inside the software company that will be a very good and excited uh, session for us okay now you understand that how you gonna use the jira after that we will do the practice session like we did yesterday whenever we create a test cases in a template Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, two participants raised their hand. Uh, yeah, Masood, you can ask your question. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, my question is on the left hand, uh, my Jira does not have uh, a backlog. Yeah, we um, will see at the end that we will see. Don't worry. Okay, Sadaf. Okay, okay Sadaf. So that raise their hand. So unmute yourself and ask your question. <laughs> Ms. Sadaf. Okay. Till this point, uh, guys, we did cover Jira, how to use Jira, how to create account, how to set up account with Jiras. And uh, from next week, we will do what we will do practice session on Jira. We will create teams and we will implement one project. So I will get the requirement of one real world project and I will bring it right here. We will divide it in user stories. We will create a subtask for that inside Jira and we will do the practitioner session so that you will get to know that how people are using, how engineers are using a real world Jira inside the company. That will be a great opportunity for you people okay now uh, i will stop the recording right here so let's uh, go to the questions and answer and solve their participant problems so i will